quick video on the walls are primed with the second layer all the walls are primed and today we're just going to start painting um, got my paint color picked out got my paint and then after that flooring so about two more days this is going to be the color of my flooring and about two more days and we should be good This is where we at now. So, walls are painted. What's left to do with the paint is that we're going to take this off and obviously make these lines better. On the corners. It's going to take some of this insulation and the remaining of drywall back and then from there we are going to install the flooring so the flooring is the last part that we really have to do that's the biggest last part we have to do we got to cock those edges with acoustic caulking but yeah we just have to do the floors next walls are dry everything is almost done Got about another day worth of work. And then uh, actually, we still have to drill the holes from the outside into the drywall up here for the AC unit. But other than that, we do have about, um, have about a day's worth of work left. And then we should be done. Then I can start moving all the equipment in. Um, other than that, we do have to do, I think I'm going to have, um, I was talking to somebody, I was talking to a friend, he's going to help me with the roof. Um, in terms of, I was thinking about putting black cloth up there, or maybe floating the roof with mud. Um, but I'll probably just run some black cloth and then um, do some circular ring lights, cut a hole, and run some circular ring lights, because I found out there's two two, you probably can see it right there, two electrical outlets that do have power, they're really old school design on those, but those two sockets do have power, so we're going to figure out the roof. But other than that, yeah, almost done. Just about a day worth of work left before I start moving stuff in and then just figure out the roof and then we're done. So stay tuned. Guys, so this is where we at. So you can see we got ninety nine point five percent of the flooring done. Last, it's gonna be this little strip right here. Still gotta cut the corners which means basically to paint those corners and make them even. But, uh, yeah. Almost done. Almost done with the space. Still got to cut through up there for the AC, but as you can see, I got most of the stuff out of there. Make the place look a lot bigger. And yeah. So that little lighting. Get the caulking done tomorrow, last bit of flooring done tomorrow, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking next week we'll probably start moving stuff um, into the actual space. Uh, start moving my desk in, my monitors, uh, t TVs, speakers, um, start moving things in. So yeah, it's almost done, I'm thinking about Really, this this weekend should be the max. 
Um, I think really the hardest thing left to do is just figure out what I'm going to do with the lighting up there. Whether I'm going to run um, uh, recessed ring lights or if I'm going to run something from these power outlets because I found out these actually do have power. Even though they're old fixtures, they have power. But the only thing about that is that they're not connected to this switch right here. Meaning that they are constantly hot. So when I flick this switch, they don't go off. The power doesn't go off to those outlets. So it's constantly hot outlets. So um, I gotta figure out if that's okay to run LED lightings. Uh, if I cut that out up there and run a constant source of power to the LEDs, that's some stuff to figure out. But that's really the main thing that I have left to figure out. And then, yeah, get my acoustic panels up and then get to work. So y'all been with me checking out the whole process and uh, can't wait to put it all together and get a final, you know, look at the room. But stay tuned. Shortly it's going to all be done. Catch up with y'all in a minute.